हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक दिस इज अरिजित सर इन माय चैनल अरिजित घोष केमिस्ट्री ऑनलाइन टुडे इन अनदर एन सी ओ टी क्वेश्चन आंसर सॉल्व फॉर क्लास इलेवन चैप्टर नाइन वे गोइंग टू सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन आंसर्स ऑफ हाइड्रोजन ओके लेट्स बिगिन ओके सो स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स बिगिन विद द क्वेश्चन नंबर वन जस्टिफाई द पोजिशन ऑफ हाइड्रोजन इन द पीरियडिक टेबल ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कन्फिगरेशन See the solution, students. You can write the answers from here. Okay. Now next is question number two. Write the names of the isotopes of hydrogen. What is the mass ratio of these isotopes? Next is question number three. It's question number four. Question number five. Question number six. Students, you need to uh, pause this video because I am actually scrolling it down. This PDF format. Okay, you just pause the video and then write your answers. Question number eight. Okay. Next is question number nine. This is actually boron hydride, actually called diborane. Next is question number ten. CnH two n plus two that is actually alkene. Okay. Whether it's X as a Lewis acid or not. Next is question number eleven. Students, subscribe zero kar lena mera channel ko. If you don't subscribe, then how can you get the next video uploaded? Okay. Fully answer is solved. If you have got any kind of problem, you just ask me in the comment boxes. I will give you the answer. Okay. Next is among ammonia, water, and hydrofluoric acid, which would you expect to have highest magnitude of hydrogen bonding, and why? Mostly, electronegativity of fluorine is going to be the decisive factor over here. Okay. Question number fifteen, sixteen. Okay. Next is question number seventeen. Comparing the structures of water and hydrogen peroxide. See the diagram, students. Okay. Next is question number eighteen. Question number nineteen. Question number twenty. Complete the following reactions. Basically, the reactions of hydrogen peroxide and water. Okay, next is question number twenty-one. Describe the structures of common form of ice. That is the hydrogen bonds you can see in the structure of ice. Okay. Okay. Next is question number twenty-two. What causes the temporary and permanent hardness of water? These are very easy good questions, students. You can answer it. Next is question number twenty-three. How can we soften the hard water by ion exchange method? Basically, you have to remove the cations and anions. Those are responsible for the hardness. Okay, next is question number twenty-four. Friends, if you like my video, 
please subscribe my channel and always please like it and comment in my boxes whether it is necessary next question number 25 write the chemical reactions to justify the hydrogen peroxide can function as oxidizing as well as reducing agent okay next is question number 26 what is mean by the demineralized water and how can it be obtained demineralized means no minerals will be there that is no cations or anions except h plus and OH minus okay next is question number 27 which one is best for the drinking demineralized or distilled water Okay, next is question number 28. Describe the usefulness of water in biosphere and biological system. Next is question number 28. 29. Question number 30. Knowing the properties of water and deuterium oxide, do you think DTO can be used as a drinking purpose? Not at all. That's as a moderator. Okay. DTO is a very hygroscopic nature. Okay. So it will burn you like sulfuric acid. Next is question number 31. Difference between hydrolysis and hydration. Okay. Next is question number 32. How can saline hydrides remove stresses of water from organic compounds? Okay, next is question number 33. Okay, okay. We are almost done in this video, students. Okay. So, please don't forget to subscribe my channel and like and comment as needed. Okay, students. Question number 34. Solution you can see for here. Okay. Question number 35. Wow. Does hydrogen peroxide behave as a bleaching agent? Actually, the nascent oxygen produces from the hydrogen peroxide acts as a bleaching agent. Next is question number 36. Some of the terms hydrogenation, syngas, water shift reaction, fuel cells. Okay, students, so uh, today we have completed this video. If you like it, Please subscribe my channel and don't forget to share with the others. Okay, students? Thank you. Goodbye.